Hello, uh, my name is Joel Heinsroth. Um, I'm a retired Army major. I uh, grew up in Iowa uh, on my parents' farm. We farmed about 2,000 acres uh, and then uh, did 20 years in the Army and now I'm retired, live in southwest Oklahoma. Uh, and I work uh, for a, as a heavy equipment operator during the day and then my evenings and weekends I'm a cattle rancher on 440 acres. When you're a gung-ho, been at the top of the world, serving your country, and you have a dip in your life, um, it's really easy to isolate yourself. And, you know, you know, I would go home, um, and even when I was still married, you know, my wife said she understood what I went through, but it's, it's, it's so hard for someone that hasn't gone through the military, especially if you go through a combat deployment, um, you know, especially when you lose friends. I mean, Memorial Day comes around. Um, my wife could never understand why I didn't want to do anything on Memorial Day, but you know, just every Memorial Day, I think about the people, you know, the people I knew, the people that I lost, and it's just something that's hard to put behind you. When you come across groups like uh, Recoil Outdoor, um, you know, that they're veterans, they come from all walks of life, they come from all military branches, and all they want to do is they just want to try to build um, the camaraderie that, uh, you know, the, the teamwork, you know, that we had in the military. And, you know, you ask any veteran, they'll say, you know, you'll ask a veteran, what do you miss most about the military? It's not the deployments, it's not the military itself, it's the people you work with. Recoil Outdoor, you know, is just, it's, it's one of those organizations by veterans for veterans. And they, the nice thing is, you can be involved as much or as little as you want. Um, for me, you know, I've always got cattle to feed, so I, I'm not able to attend everything that I want to, but it's just nice, you know, there's a group out there, you know, you can reach out and touch them on Facebook anytime, you know, they're always trying to plan stuff. And it's, it's one of those things where a lot of their stuff is just in a garage. If you have a past that's been hard on you, you know, just fellowship and being outside can do a world of good versus being cooped up in a, in a house or being cooped up you know, in an apartment, which, you know, a lot of veterans, you know, we don't, we don't get in the military to get rich. You know, we have to, you know, we have to do our time. You know, we give, we give the country, we give the military the best years of our life. And then, you know, we get out and then we've got to manage the best we can. And, um, you know, a lot of veterans, if they lose, once they're out of the military, it's really hard for them to find you know, a purpose to find a team, you know, and I think, I think Recoil Outdoor can, you know, for a lot of people can be that team. There is a majority of veterans that, that truly do struggle um, when they get out. I mean, I did. God did not put us on this world to be alone. Um, he designed us to be with people, to have companionship, to have camaraderie. If you feel like you're by yourself, if you feel more comfortable and ignoring people, you got to fight through that. You may be coping, but you're not being all you can be to steal an army slogan. Fishing buddies, buddies who want to work on cars, buddies who like going to the lake. If those kind of things can kind of stir your interest, you know, check out Recoil Outdoor on Facebook. Um, they have all kinds of different events. Even if you're not a gearhead, if you want to go sit in a sit in a shop, and you know I can hold a wrench with the best of them. I mean that's what my old man trained me to do. Sometimes when you're just around people that have kind of shared the same experiences you have, it can kind of turn the narrative a little bit. Instead of you being alone, you self isolating, looking for a way to cope, maybe it kind of just slowly turns you the other way and makes you look at other people and say, hey, maybe I can't strip down a Jeep engine and put it back together, 
but I can sure as heck, you know, lift an engine out. I can sure as heck, you know, hammer out a dent. Um, and and if you know if physical labor isn't your thing, you know they've got events at a lake. Okay, you don't have a rock jeep. There's plenty of rock jeeps that you can jump in and take and take for a ride. Struggling alone versus struggling with a group, it's a night and day difference. <laughs>